Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. I was not here yesterday. I just didn't have it in me. Completely lazy and just didn't have it in me. But I'm back. One day break. Um, I'm really, really, really desperately trying to finish this project because I am loving it. But still, at the same time, I am tired of the same, same project. Um, I, 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 my attention span is not good for over 60 days, apparently, which that is way too long to take for this project, but that's what it turned into, and that's what I'm going with. So he is in Mexico and leaving Mexico City by train to um, go to Tijuana to cross over the border into San Diego of California, and... It's desolate, it's dangerous, it's, as a California native, no, almost California native, um, I moved there when I was four, my mom was a California native, my grandmother was a California native, um, and um, it's pull and tug relationship with Mexico and California. California would not exist if it wasn't for Mexico because of the labor force. Um, the vegetables all grown in the San Joaquin Valley, which used to be a huge portion of the United States. Now it's part of the United States vegetable in consumption or fruits or nuts or whatever. Um, would not be picked if it wasn't for the Mexican population and the immigrant population. Um, so it's a pull and tug. So that's kind of what he reflected on the drug aspect of Mexico. I wanted to stay away from that because it's very obvious and 1997 it was very bad so the journaling i'm doing here is two and a half hours north of mexico city is the handsome city of quero with soft stone facades neatly capped squares splendidly decorated churches and a well-behaved personification of spanish colonial stability with the pull and tug of California and the United States with Mexico is the pull and tug with Spain um, pre pre previously. So it's it's really, besides the fact that it's desolate in most inhabitable, inhabited, uninhabited areas, it's a harsh, harsh country. It's hot. It's, it's dry. It's dangerous, full of dangerous animals, full of dangerous people. I mean, it's just hard to deal with. That is a printable that I got off um, Robin McClendon's uh, Patreon site. She put some more up. So I'm like, I'll use this because it reminds me of the desert floor and how a lot of people of people get to California or Texas or Arizona or New Mexico is to cross this horribly desolate, dangerous, dangerous desert and they're paying with money they're paying with their lives people are preying on people i mean it's just it's a horrible uh mishmash of emotions feelings people uh danger the whole shebang without going into politics that's the gist of it so what i'm writing here is illegal immigration illegal migrant workers people preying on people Border Patrol, which is a huge workforce in the border area. 30 million cross per year, many of who go back and forth, which is very true. Uh, a lot of the workforce goes back and forth daily uh, across into Tijuana, across the Texas border. Um, and it, it's just harsh. It's a harsh subject, a harsh life, a harsh feelings, all of that. So I'm using the, the desert floor and using Stabilo Woodies to put in abstract cactus. <laughs> this is all it is. Um, and it kind of just, to me, evokes the harshness of this life, the harshness of this country, the harshness of this part of the world, which is very, very tragic. And that is pretty much what I was going to say.